May is blossoming with opportunities to see celestial events throughout the month. First, on May 6th is the Eta Aquarids Meteor Shower. The Eta Aquarids is an above-average shower, capable of producing up to 60 meteors per hour at its peak. Most of the activity is seen in the Southern Hemisphere. In the Northern Hemisphere, the rate can reach about 30 meteors per hour. It is produced by dust particles left behind by Comet Halley, which has been observed since ancient times. The shower runs annually from April 19th to May 28th. It peaks this year on the night of May 6th and the morning of the May 7th. The nearly new moon means dark skies for what should be an excellent show this year. Best viewing will be from a dark location after midnight. Meteors will radiate from the constellation Aquarius but can appear anywhere in the sky. Next on May 8th is the upcoming new moon. The moon will locate it on the same side of the Earth as the sun and will not be visible in the night sky. This phase occurs at 323 UTC. This is the best time of the month to observe faint objects such as galaxies and star clusters because there is no moonlight to interfere. May 9th, Mercury will be at its greatest western elongation, the planet. Mercury reaches greatest western elongation of 26.4 degrees from the sun. This is the best time to view Mercury since it will be at its highest point above the horizon in the morning sky. Look for the planet low in the eastern sky just before sunrise. And lastly, for May is the full moon which can be seen on May 23rd. The moon will be located on the opposite side of the Earth as the sun and its face will be, will be fully illuminated. This phase occurs at 1355 UTC. This full moon was known by early Native American tribes as the flower moon because this was the time of year when spring flowers appeared in abundance. This moon has also been known as the corn planting moon and the milk moon. May is filled with opportunity to see extravagant things in the sky. Mark your calendars. Don't forget to like, share, and follow.